You know what it is! It's Taco Tuesday! Look, I have not been this excited about an upcoming NFT mint for a very long time. And I'd argue this is probably the most hyped NFT mint of the year. It's all everyone on crypto and NFT Twitter is talking about utes in today's video i'll be covering everything you need to know around the utes mint my price prediction and speculation for utes d gods and the dust token and then how i think this is going to be a catalyst for the greater solana ecosystem and the other opportunities that you guys need to be on the lookout for if you guys enjoy the video hammer the like button subscribe to the channel and let's get into it. For Utes, I've covered this project a ton on the channel in past videos, especially last week's video where I went into great detail about the founder and team behind the project, and we checked out their white paper and what they're trying to build. So if you guys are just now hearing about Utes, I would definitely recommend you checking out last week's video also for just all that background. But in short, Utes is gonna be the second NFT collection from the D Gods ecosystem. On Magic Eden, you can see D Gods topping the charts. They're definitely regarded as the number one project on Solana, at least for the time being, for sure. Floor price is sitting at 545 soul. They hit new all time highs this week, hovering around that 600 soul range. The D Gods ecosystem, in just a summary, and Frank kind of described this really well, so I'm gonna take his words for it, but basically, it's you know innovating on the tech and software side and pushing what is possible for utility for nfts in that regard so really a high focus on software and then also just creating dope fun entertaining experiences on the internet a lot of that comes from community but i think founders can play a a big role in that as well now on twitter like i said d gods hit new all-time highs this week that community is full of just absolute diamond hands these guys have been going crazy all week on my timeline, doing shoeys left and right, which, you know, deservingly so. They're literally pushing the Solana ecosystem forward. They've got Solana on their back right now, and that's all anybody can talk about, so props to them. I think community is one of the most important pillars when you're reviewing or assessing an NFT project. The Ute List is just a brand new marketing mechanism of actually having a dedicated Twitter, publicly sharing who's been accepted, into the whitelist for your project. Really cool innovation here. I would say Utes and Ute List is probably one of the best marketing strategies I've seen from an NFT project so far. If you guys wanted to get Ute listed, you actually had to apply on their website through their scholarship program. They only let in 3,500 people. I think there was as high as like 30,000, 50,000 applicants. And then for the mint, they're actually gonna be minted in dust, 375 dust. And like I said, dust is gonna be the utility token for this ecosystem. The big news that broke yesterday was that instead of Utes minting today, September 2nd, they're actually gonna be minting this weekend on Sunday around 2 p.m. Eastern. Overall though, this is just gonna be a very, very exciting weekend, a long weekend. And it sets up for a very interesting event because I think there's so much liquidity on the sidelines not just for Solana, but just in the NFT market in general that are waiting for this Utes Mint. Day one volume is gonna break any like previous Solana record. I don't know what the record is. Maybe it's shared by like Trippin' Apes or OK Bears, but I think Utes will absolutely destroy any of those day one uh, volume records. If you're not Ute listed, I still think there are plays to be made around the Dust token itself, trading it, riding some of these waves up and down. Dust sitting at, you know, 2.79, you know, down 9% on the seven day chart. I think this is going to go higher than what it's at now. Is it going to break that peak of like 3.8? Is it going to hit $4? I'm not exactly sure because I think anyone who's been Ute listed for the most part has probably acquired Dust already. But it's hard to say because right now on their Discord, they're still releasing a ton of names that are just now being Ute listed. But I will say, this is my speculation, and obviously not financial advice, do your own research. I think leading up this weekend, probably into Saturday, we could see dust go a lot higher. As a lot of people are you know, late to buy in their dust, there could be a surge in demand. I think hours before or the day of that Sunday of the Mint, you're probably gonna see dust plummet once everyone who needs dust to mint has already acquired it. Dust will shoot down, and that could be an opportunity for you guys to enter because the day after the Utes mint, 
there is a dust labs announcement that's going to talk about how dust is going to actually have more utility we've talked about the trait marketplace where you'll be able to buy and sell different utes traits using dust so that's one method but i also think that they have more utility plans beyond that just because of how long they've built out this project and they are also minting this project in dust they're not making any money on it it's not like it's being minted in soul and then they're going to then sell the soul off it's being minted in dust frank has said the team has no plans of selling any of the dust that they take in from this mint it's in their best interest for the price of dust to rise and increase i would expect the day after so that monday for the there to be a pretty massive pump just on the speculation and if there actually is some really cool utility or reason to hold and use dust you could see a massive pump up there for youths on a price standpoint i want to make it clear and be fully transparent i am you listed i am going to mint my you so i'm biased here i do want positive price action but when we're looking at price for a second collection it's always key to look at the genesis collections price for d gods you know the floor is sitting around 545 soul it's probably going to be in this 500 to 600 soul range come the mint day for youths usually you don't see a secondary collection do you know a fourth or a third i would say on a price average usually it does like a fourth of the genesis collection if it's you know actually a really sought after project which utes is so i think you know best case scenario we're seeing 200 soul ish probably and i don't know if that's going to happen out the gate or if that's going to be you know days down the line after we've had the following two days of announcements there are a lot of people on twitter who think that utes can actually flip d gods it's possible i don't see it happening but i'll give you the bullish and bearish cases for both right why it could flip d gods is the fact that utes has a lot more brandable and ip friendly art i personally like the d gods art i like it a ton but i think that it doesn't resonate with all the kind of audiences and demographics that utes as art can right the Utes as a PFP is just a lot more uh, fun. I think Utes as a name is like very playful. So I think it can just reach a wider audience. For D Gods, I know the supply is 10K. I think some of those were burned though. So it might be closer to like 9,500. And then obviously Utes is going to have a 15K supply, which is quite a big supply in the current market. In a bear market, 15K supply is quite a lot. At current prices, if you are minting, it's gonna be 375 dust is gonna equal about 33 soul. I imagine it's gonna hover around this 30 to 40 soul range. Out the gun for a hype project, in a bear market, people are gonna to wanna to secure profits. Not everyone, but there's gonna be a lot of people who are. And I imagine a lot of people are gonna mint this and say, look, I can secure a 2X easily. So I think the floor out the gate is just gonna be around that 80 soul range, 80 to 100 soul. Um, I know that for people who have the scholarship program, that 3,500, it's gonna be a very short window to mint your Ute um, because they are gonna actually have a wait list for people who didn't get accepted to actually replace them with people who don't mint or don't have enough dust. For D God and Dead God holders, I'm not sure if that mint window will be the same. Uh, I just know that I don't think the 15k supply is all going to hit uh, on day one. I do think that those holders do have some time in terms of when they want to actually redeem their ute. Not positive on that, but I just think that that could help the buying pressure um, if the whole supply isn't hitting the market right away. A project that I want to touch on, OK Bears, was one that had a ton of hype months back. This project minted in way better market conditions, but I will say this was one of the first projects that brought a ton of Ethereum people to Solana. The amount of people on ETH that are looking at Utes compared to OK Bears, I don't think is even close. The whole ETH ecosystem has their eyes on Utes and D Gods right now. Even Cardano holders and Cardano uh, NFT people are looking at Utes right now. OK Bears did a really good job of bringing a lot of ETH people over. I think that there's going to be a ton of plays that are in for a smaller or lower entry. If you can't afford to mint Utes or buy in on secondary, there are going to be already established projects who are going to be big benefactors of this entire mint going down. And while I'm here on OK Bears, I think this is one of those projects that really could benefit. Clean Art has that very Board Ape Yacht Club style to it that a lot of people are just used to seeing. They like that kind of art. And it already had a ton of hype around it. A lot of people missed that hype train 
And so sitting at a 60 sold price right now, a lot of people may buy in. Nate Rivers, a big NFT influencer in the space, someone who really understands like market sentiment has joined the OK Bears team. Obviously he's one of the biggest OK Bear bulls there are. And so he posted this document yesterday about what they're going to do as a team to make change. A lot of positive stuff here, a lot of things that they think that they've done that hasn't worked. So with a change of leadership or someone who really understands like the NFT market ins and outs, being a part of their team, I think that is a very bullish and positive case. So I could see OK Bears definitely getting some of this volume and a lot of people just wanting to have what they would consider like a blue chip or a top Solana project as the entire ecosystem explodes from the Utes hype. Another ecosystem that has really great standing, a lot of people are always talking about is Tayo Robotics. And so they have a interesting ecosystem where they already have a couple different projects here. They have their oil, the armory parts, the infants and incubators with the robotics being the Genesis collection. I know that they're extremely active as a Discord and just Twitter community. Uh, I believe they have the Tayo Pilots, which is gonna be a new collection that is coming out very soon. And keep in mind too, a lot of projects that have both updates, announcements, or even new new projects, new collections, are all waiting for this Ute drop to happen because whatever they say, whatever they market out, is kind of just gonna get sucked up in the noise. During the Solana summer craze, Blocksmith Labs was one that I was looking for. It's a utility play. They have the Mercury whitelist marketplace. And I know that this is just a, a team that continues to, to work hard behind the scenes. I know a lot of people just believe in Blocksmith long-term. And I think one of the only negatives, what I was looking at it, you know, once again, months back during that Solana summer movement was the art. They are seeing a massive art upgrade for Blocksmith Labs. Once those art upgrades come out, I think people are gonna buy in before the art uh, upgrades come out. And even when they do, if you have a utility project with actually a marketable PFP, that is a very bullish sign. But I remember when I first got into NFTs, seeing SMBs and just thinking like, man, these are so sick. To me, SMBs are a blue chip. It's a grail to have one of these one day. Floor is sitting at 191 soul. So once again, it is on the higher end of things, but Monkey Dow, I think whenever you think of people who are in Seoul, whether they're influencers, they're alpha callers, they're just people who are influential and active on Twitter, a lot of the big names are a part of Monkey Dow. They hold SMBs. And so I think where, you know, let's say you hit a rare Utes or, you know, you mint your Utes and you kind of want to sell into the hype. I could see a lot of people also having SMBs on their list of projects or, or collections that they've always wanted to have. So I could expect SMBs to be a part of that rising tide. I think this mint is really going to bridge the ETH and Solana communities a lot closer together than they have been. And I think this is a real chance for DGods and Utes to establish themselves as the number one and two Solana projects, but also in the top five for just NFT PFP collections overall. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Next week, I am gonna be covering upcoming Solana projects that are gonna hopefully be releasing in the near future, riding the Solana hype wave. So if you guys are interested in some upcoming mints that could do really well, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hammer the like button, and until next time, I'm out.